The, the third issue that I want to talk about is the idea of singleness in marriage. Because I think yes. it, it's it, it's becoming a bigger issue, I think, very especially within Christian circles recently. Um, I've just noticed, you know, if you look at something like TikTok or social media, it's all yeah. about finding that perfect person in that perfect yeah. marriage. And that's going to complete you and all these things. Um, and I don't know. There might be people listening here that follow me on TikTok because I'm trying to, you know, reach people through that platform, even though I can't stand TikTok. I don't know if you're <laughs> on it, but, you know, different conversation. Um, How do you how do we look at this idea? First off, um, Christian signal singleness. What's what's a biblical view of Christian singleness and how do we look at marriage? Yeah. You know, I, I think. Uh, of all that that I teach on, I probably get the most pushback on uh, my, my, you know, when I teach from the Bible on singleness, because what they don't understand is um, having, you know, communicating about how Jesus was positive on singleness and how Paul was positive on singleness. They think that I'm saying then that marriage is bad. And mm-hmm. that's not at all what Jesus said or what Paul said, they would say that Paul, uh, Jesus would say that singleness is good, but also say that marriage is good. Paul would also, in you know, in, in when you look at the Pauline, you know, the corpus of, of the Pauline epistles, he would say that singleness is good, but also say that, that marriage is good. So it's not either or, they're not mutually exclusive. We can have both at the same time. So I think that's important. But the reason why I do focus more on singleness is because I, I, I don't think that anyone really questions that, oh, that marriage is, you know, not as good, you know, second mm-hmm. best. You know, you know, as as Protestants, we are reactionary and say we're not Catholics, and so therefore, as the Catholics, would have this tendency to put singleness or celibacy, they'd call, and that's why I don't really like that term celibacy because it has, it's it has layers of meaning that I want to avoid, and I prefer singleness, uh, just as the state of being unmarried that uh, you know, we then react and say, no, we're, we're not that. And so therefore we're gonna put marriage above singleness and singleness is second best. The problem, the biggest problem with that is if singleness is second best or singleness is mandated or singleness is even a command uh, or singleness is a sign of um, uh, even immaturity or singleness is a sign even of disobedience. If we say any of those things, then Jesus was not his best. Mm. Then Jesus would not be whole. So a deficient mm. understanding of singleness actually leads to a deficient understanding of Jesus. Mm. So, a, biblical, a bad biblical theology of singleness actually leads to a bad Christology. Mm. So we we need to really take this seriously and understand that, I mean, when we look at the full canon of God, we see instances, you know, like, for example, Jesus saying that Matthew chapter 22, there's not going to be any marriage in heaven. You know, so I hate to break the news to everyone, but we're going to be single in eternity. (laughs) But the good news is that we corporately, as a body of Christ, will be wed to the Lamb of God and and marriage will be done away with because marriage is just marriage here on earth, as we know, between a man and a woman, is just a a shadow of the ultimate reality of Jesus and uh, his bride, which is the church. So I think we have to have this really. Uh, robust, better understanding of singleness, because I think that's the best way to actually begin communicating mm-hmm. about what God is calling us to. Because one of the biggest pushbacks that I get from people, even young Christians who are leaving the church, is it's unfair, you know, mm-hmm. it's to expect someone to be single. And that's due to this very deficient understanding of singleness, that singleness is bad or not as good. Mm-hmm.